Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Walton. In this short video, you're gonna see a business owner that came to my practice. We're measuring his brain waves, doing a standard meditation, and then doing a technique that I developed called the Gamma Mindset Technique, which creates this peak performance brainwave state, optimal functioning of the brain. So we're gonna compare standard meditation to the Gamma Mindset Technique, but also in this video, you see me do a subconscious belief change. During this process, there was not much change in his brain waves, and I had this intuition that we needed to do a subconscious change. So you see me get him onto the couch, do a subconscious change, and then measure his brain waves again, where you see a completely different readout, showing that by changing the subconscious mind, that has an effect on the readout of the brain. This is a fascinating demonstration. Okay, so interesting, very interesting finding from Quinn's brainwaves taken through the three uh, experiments we did today, that uh, his brainwaves didn't change throughout three separate um, activities, three separate different types of meditation, his brainwaves didn't change, which really is, um, let's say, interesting and, and quite unusual. Okay, so <clears throat> say after me, it is safe for me to change. I believe this 100%. It's safe, to me, it's safe for me to change. I believe this 100%. Possible. Okay, so you have a bite on that. So that's, that's the very first thing. Primary belief. It is safe for me to change. Mm -hmm. I believe this 100%. <clears throat> Stress response. So let's just check this. Just say out loud. It is safe for me to change. It's safe for me to change. And hold. Mm -hmm. You see? It is safe for me to change. Yes, it is safe for me to change. I believe this 100% mm, stress response. So there's parts of you, however you want to think of that, that do not feel it's safe for you subconsciously. You don't feel it's safe for you to change. So if there's parts of you that doesn't subconsciously feel it's safe for you to change, then there's always going to be a part of you pulling back. You know, going that way when you want to go that way. So we need to sort of, that's the first and most important belief. Otherwise, everything else that's done on top of that is on slightly sandy foundations. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. All right, so let's do this, right? So we'll integrate this and then we'll see where you are. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> one ankle over the other. One wrist across. Very light, very, very light. Roll around, okay. And then close your eyes. Let me guide you through this, okay? So relax your forehead. So, it is safe for me to change now, I believe this 100%. It's safe for me to change now, I believe this 100%. Hold. Excellent. Okay, so uh, we've done a short little session there on the couch with Quinn, just changing sort of the, really the most important number one subconscious belief system, and that is, that is it is safe for me to change, I believe this 100%. So he was blocked on that subconsciously. We changed that, we tested, he's now clear on that. And now, so, uh, now we're gonna measure his brain again and see if there's any difference. Quinn's brainwaves that didn't change much at all through the three different um, sessions that he did. We get him on the couch, we do the absolute number one core belief, belief change subconsciously, it is safe for me to change and get that 100% integrated in, in his subconscious and test again. Then he comes out of that, which was a sort of five or 10 minute deal, and then we wire him up again, put him through the same, um, exercise and he gets a 50% increase in gamma waves from where he left off. So that's amazing if you think about it. That's totally, totally amazing because whilst it is the most important belief, if you think about it subconsciously, it is safe for me to change. If you don't believe that at some level, obviously it's hard work. You know, there's always a part that you're going to pull back. So 
that's amazing to, to see that. And the 50% increase in gamma waves from one belief change, even though it is not so much like one thing, it's a, the most powerful thing in the subconscious that you can possibly do. But to, to link that or correlate that with a 50% increase in gamma waves is really interesting. And if you think about gamma waves, um, when more of the brain fires at the same time, more brain cells fire at the same time, creating coherency, oneness, the state of flow, you know, optimal function, peak states of consciousness, that's what it is internally that allows that information to be downloaded into the subconscious um, quickly. Um, but now we're seeing objective measures of that. You know?